They're shocked, confused, and devastated. And now for many of the more than 300 student athletes who attend St. Francis, it's back to the drawing board on how they'll finish out their college careers without their sport. Sophomore Monica Vargo said she went into a meeting Monday expecting to hear an announcement about a new gym. Instead, she was blindsided. Her volleyball team and 18 others would cease to exist after this school year. I just started sobbing because I was sitting with my whole entire team and we all looked at each other like, oh my God, this is it. The decision came down to funding. School officials citing a massive hit to enrollment and revenue during the pandemic. Monica has a full athletic scholarship. The school will honor it and all other current athletic scholarships, but that's only half of it. For Monica, the last two years, being part of a team and community were the best of her life. Finding out that we're going to get split apart and we all have to go different directions, it's really hard. It was a tough pill to swallow. Monica said she entered the school's transfer portal just hours after the announcement, a common next step for athletes we spoke with. I can't imagine not swimming anymore. Like, I don't think I'm done, so I'm going to transfer. For others, transferring isn't an option. I am a nursing major, and nursing credits do not transfer. So it's not even a possibility for me. Junior Josiah Harris's career with the oldest collegiate basketball program in New York City is over. It was founded in 1896 and now Harris has scored some of the team's last points. Sitting in the transfer portal to see where I could go and play. Uh, I wish I could have played here again next year, but it is what it is. I had a great season, my team, teammates. Uh, it's, it's going to be a long journey. In a statement, the school's director of athletics said in part, quote, our student athletes have been at the heart of our department's work and we will continue to support them to the best of our ability in the aftermath of the college's decision. Men's and women's basketball have already finished out their seasons. Spring sports include tennis, volleyball, track and field and water polo. In downtown Brooklyn, Jessica East Hope, Currents News. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.